I greet you in the name of uh, Chris Hani, of course. And I greet you in the name of uh, the black people of this country, the Azanian Matthias as a whole. <clears throat> I'm standing here before you to be able to share with you in a very short space of time that I have, not the promises, but the book of guarantees of Azam. Not promises, but guarantees. I mean, uh, for 30 years, uh, the people of Azania, the people of this country have been given promises. And then if you add uh, come to promises, you have compromises. And that is why we are not today. <clears throat> We're talking about a country that we are told has been free for 30 years, so we are 30 years into democracy, yet we've got nothing as a people and the black people of this country, the rightful owners of this country, to show for it. We've got nothing to show. And I stand here to tell you and the whole world that this is not the nine wasted years, but it is 30 wasted years, 30 wasted years. And briefly, I'm gonna tell you why I talk about 30 wasted years. First, Azapo is standing here, unlike the other organization. We are standing here to remind the whole world that Azapo is a liberation movement. We are the people who contributed in the freedom and democracy of this country. 
We were the people in this Azapo that we were in the forefront and leading the 1976 uprising. We are the people who did this. And so, and so this movement of Biko is the one that crafted and built the foundations of this democracy. We did that. We bled for this democracy. We bled for this uh, democracy, this freedom. We disappeared, we were tortured, we were prisoned. But not only that, but also we were killed more than anybody else. That's why we have no Uncle Puse Tiro today. That's why we have no Steve Biko today. That's why we have no Abu Aspat, no Muntumiesa today, because we were killed more than anybody else. And that's why we are standing here. And as a Zappo, we are standing to say to the people of South Africa, our Azania, that Azapo is going to clean the politics of this country. This, this, country, this country is not going to be led by thieves anymore. It is not going to be led by criminals anymore. And that is why Azapo, more than anybody else, Azapo in its list has a people who have a clean record a clean bill of health. We have no criminals in our list. We have no people who are running away from the police in our list. We have no people who are being raided by the police in our list. We have no people who are hiding dollars in their list. We have no people who have uh, been queuing in front of the Zondo Commission in our list. We did not steal even a cent from the people of this country. Not even a cent. We gave the people of this country as an example of who we are. We gave them a minister of science and technology, Dr. Musibudi Mangena, who by example demonstrated what a Zappo is capable of doing. Alone, he was able to deliver it to this country. And he did not steal a cent. He did not steal even a blue cent from the people of this country. And uh, I'm going with you and I'm telling you why Azapo is standing here today. Because Azapo are part of the leader liberators of this country. Because we contributed to the liberation of this country, we know what it is to lead a people and to free a people. Therefore, we should know how a people should be developed. We know how a people should be liberated. That's why Azapo belong to the legislatures of this country. Azapo belong to the union buildings. Azapo belong to parliament and every parliament of this country. Why? Because Azapo is holding in its hand the memo of the liberation of this country. We've got it in our hands and the people who are there know nothing about it. Know nothing about it. The people who are there are funded by blood money. They are funded by corruption money. As Azapo, we have no Gupta money to fund us. We have no Busasa money to fund us. We are stealing nothing from the people. Look at this if you don't believe me. Did you know that in this country of ours, 30 years into democracy, 72% of the land is still owned by white people. And black people only own 4% of the land. 30 years into democracy. And other parts of the land are owned by foreigners. Go to China, go to Russia, go to Zimbabwe, and tell me which foreigners own the land. No ways. 
and Azapo is going to make the point that will never happen. Look at this country. If you don't believe me, 30 years into democracy, 98% of the economy, of the wealth, is in white hands. The white ruling class, black people together, we are over 90% of the population, yet we own less than 2% of the economy, there's further shops that we're talking about. That cannot be like that. 33 million people and upward of 33 million people of this country are poor, poor, poor. And you are talking about black people, you and I. Nobody else is poor, but black people alone in the country of their four peers. And if you look at this country, did you know that in this country, 30 years into democracy, 5 million people, 5 million people live in shacks, no electricity, no running water, no roads, no clinics, no schools, no nothing. And those are black people 30 years into democracy. Did you know, did you know that we are being humiliated in this country, yet we are told this country is run by a black, black president, black ministers, black councillors, you name them, black CEOs, you name them. It's only the face and the flag, okay? <clears throat> but let me tell you how we are being humiliated. Black people continue to have their culture humiliated in this country. No black people, at least our culture in radio, in television, anything you can talk about, our culture is not there. Generations, you name them, we are not there. In music, radio, tuning in now, no black music, no nothing. Ours, it's only a quota. There must be one hours for us in our own country. And I'm telling you, standing here, 30 years into democracy, black people still have not regained, restored their humanity and dignity. That is why we are the only ones who live in shacks. That is why we have the own, we are the only one of children who are street kids, so-called. That is why we are the only one who have a children who are learning in mud schools. That is why we are the only ones who have children learning under trees. Nobody else. And do you know why? <clears throat> 30 years into democracy, black people and black people alone are living on grants, food parcels and things. You name them, yet we are free. Yet the president is black. Let me tell you, if you did not know, 28 million people of this country are living on grants. 28 million people, food passers grant. And 9 million people have to chew. Even it's raining, uh, it's thundering, it's uh, whatever. They've got to stand there the whole day for what? 300 and 50 rand. And then after they are given the 350 rand, they've got to pay the entire 350 into the taxi back home. When they get home, nothing. 350 is gone. So I'm telling you, 38 million, 38 million people in this country, they live on grants. 70% of young people, and they are black people, 70% of young people, unemployed, jobless, most of whom have gone to school, they've got degrees, but they're on the streets, no work, no nothing, no dignity, no humanity. As if that is not enough, this country has a debt of 71% percent a debt because this country every day is going to the IMF, to the World Bank. It is borrowing money to do what? The 500 billion COVID 
They stole it, 500 billion during COVID. Yet it was supposed to come to us. It did not reach us. What did they do after they stole the 500 billion? They dug 1.5 million graves for us to bury us. And that is why Azapo is having this solution for the country. Azapo, whether you like it or not, if you don't like it, take a flight into Europe. If you don't like it, take a dive into the nearest river if you don't like it. Because we don't have the two passports. We have only one passport. This is our country. This is our country. We beg no worry. We will nationalize the land. We take it back. We repossess it. The land shall be owned by the people of Azania through the state. What is underneath the land? Minerals by the, owned by the people. The air owned by the people. The sky owned by the people. The seas, oceans, it will be owned by the people. Nobody, no foreigner shall own land in this country. As a result of that, once we do it as a Zappo, we will not do what the government is doing. We will not give licenses to Lon Min, De Piers, and all of them. The minerals of this country, an upward of 50% will be owned by the people. By the people. By the people. So that we are able to use the access and the gains we get from that, the profits, to be able to develop the people, develop the people. Nobody will kill our people in Marikana because Lon Min says so. We will develop the people. And the Azapa will make the point that we, did not, we do not dig our minerals, our platinum, gold, you name them and then we take it naked, and then we throw up through the air to Europe at a one cent. But we will take it, we will grab it, we will embrace it, and we will build companies. They will beneficiate it, add value in our country. By so doing, we will create thousands and thousands and thousands of jobs. Nobody will be unemployed. And then when we sell the beneficiated product, we'll be able to sell it 10 times or 100 times more. There will be more profit to develop the people. We as Azapo listen to this. We don't beg you, it will happen. This is our country. When we get into government, we will abolish the provincial governments because they are chowing up the money. They are chowing up the money of the country. This country is over-governed. We, there is no reason to have 10 governments. There is no reason to have 10 presidents in these countries with blue lights all over their show, with bodyguards all over their show, with parliaments all over the country. There is no reason for that. We abolish abolish the provincial government. We replace them with simple administrators. Comrade Moasu, you can be one of them, but not a government. Simple administrator. We take all the money and upward of 700 billion, it goes down to local government because this is a developmental state. Local government is where money and resources engineers technicians and technocrats and artisans are needed. All the money and all the people will go there and develop. Abolish provincial governments. We will change the fundamentals of the economy. There is no reason we are still sticking to the apartheid economy. We will change it such that we are able to redistribute the wealth 
to the people. And that is why, as a Zappo, we will invest money to grow and build the small and medium businesses so that you and Grammy and you and everyone here, you are able to have businesses. What is happening now in this country, it is white people, the Rupets and the whole Oppenheimers and their cousins who are owning the economy, the monopoly of the economy. We are going to deal with that. We go to the small businesses that are based on labor so that we are able to create more jobs in this country. Do you know why? <clears throat> the fundamentals of the economy, when the Africaners get, got into government, you know what they did in 1948? They nationalized all the commanding heights of the economy. Why did they do that? They did that so that they were able to develop the Africaners. And where are they today? They have universities, they have banks and everything. We go to, to, to do much more than that. Nationalize the commanding heights of the economy. In fact, Azapo will nationalize the reserve bank. We will nationalize, yes, I said so. Azapo will nationalize the reserve bank. In the world, in the world, there are only nine countries, and those are developed countries, where you have the reserve banks that are privatized. There is no reason that South Africa, our Azania, has a privatized a reserve bank. Our money and our wealth and those who control it cannot be private. The reserve bank has, is controlled by 800 f white families and the international companies. We have no say. Azapo will nationalize it and then we will change the mandate of the Reserve Bank. They will stop a dealing only with price stability and only dealing with inflation targeting. They will now have an added mandate of ensuring that uh, they deal with the economic growth, they j deal with uh, the creation of jobs, and also they deal with ensuring that when they implement their fiscal policy, they do it at an expansionary economic intervention level. Every day when you wake up, Lisicha is standing there, you know he's going to say, we are increasing the interest rates. We are increasing taxation such that there is no money flowing in the hands of the people, such that there is nothing we can do in terms of economic activity. That's why we are poorer and poorer and poorer. What does it mean? It means a higher interest rates. It means higher the cost of the debt. And the black people live by debt, it means higher. If you are earning 1,000 rand through taxation and everything, and then through the taxation by government, if you are earning 1,000 rand, you will be living 300 rand. That is daylight robbery, re-enslavement of black people in this country. <laughs> and Azapo, Azapo is saying, Mi kuku. Five million people, black people living in Mikuku. Mikuku shacks are a crime against black people. Azapo will un, we, 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 we will render them unlawful. No Mkuku in Azania. A black person is not a Mkuku. We are not shacks. Shacks are not equal to our humanity and dignity as a people. We will outlaw Shaks and Mikuku, and then we shall establish a national state housing company. Not building houses through tenders. It will not happen in our Asania. It will not happen. And then we will build, we will build a decent housing, running water, and everything, not Mkuku. And Azapo will ensure that we have a healthy nation. 
You know what is happening in this country now? You get involved in an accident, and then the helicopter comes and say, uh, for about it, and then they check your pockets. You are dying. They check your pockets. Says, ah, he doesn't have a medical aid, but he's dying. But uh, and then they go, they dropped Nefolaboto, who's dying. They go to Van der Merwe. Van der Merwe has a medical cut, but uh, he is only injured. The pinky, pinky injured. Nefolaboto is dying. And as I was saying, in uh, in this country, there shall be, there will be, clinics, hospitals within every 10 kilometers not just not just empty clinics with panados and no doctors but primary health care and secondary health care you must be able more to shine up your heart you shine up your heart you know as will ensure that it happens you will not have to travel to Kruotesquil you will do it here and as is making a point that <clears throat> There will be electricity in this country. The reason why it is dark in this country, the reason why there are no lights in this country, it is because the electricity grid was made and designed for about five million white people. They never thought we deserve electricity. They never thought we as baboons and whatever, we deserve electricity. We've got to go in the dark. That's why it's called a dark continent. That's why they say so. Azapa will change that. We will ensure that there's electricity for everyone. Do you know why there's no electricity? It's because also a, there are families of uh, the connected politicians who are running and uh, rationing the diesel uh, uh, to ESCOM and that they manipulate it and hold it back such that there is scarcity of diesel so that the price of diesel go high, high and through the roof. And that is why there is no electricity. It's a apartheid number one. Number two, it's because in 2009, they, when they had the two thirds majority, they did not use it and they did not maintain the power plants they did not build more power plants. What did they do? Instead, they are stealing the money from Elscom. And you know what they do? Further, it's because they are on a process to privatize the economy of this country, to unbundle the economy of this country, such that you must buy even the air you breathe. If you do not have medical aid, you will not breathe any air. That's a difficulty that we are in. And Azapo will deal with the problem of crime. This country is the most violent country in the world when it comes to crime. They do not only hijack your car, they also kill you. <clears throat> they do not only kick your doors, get inside, and uh, steal your plasma TV. They also uh, uh, rape your mother, rape your daughter, and, and then kill you and everyone in the house. And we're saying, as a Zappo, we shall not oppose a referendum for a death penalty. If the people want it, we will listen as a Zappo, because the will of the people is important. And that is why we're saying uh, education is the most important people. Young people must be educated from kindergarten up to university and the first degree because we know if you have an education and a degree you will not want employment but you will create employment and black people shall be free through education and lastly and lastly when it comes to immigration lastly we in Azapo we know that Africa is one and the boundaries were created by the imperialists and the colonialists. We know that as a Zappo, we want a boundaryless Africa. But as Zappo knows, that will not happen tomorrow. What happens today? Today, we must make sure that nobody gets into our country without being documented. Because you're not documented, you are going to kill our own people.
and we shall not be able to trace you. And we will not be able to plan as government because we will plan for 10 people who are documented and then the clinic is used by 100 people and it collapses. That will not happen. If you are coming to this country, you will go to the refugee camps. That's where you will go. The refugee centers. You shall be processed there and then we will decide where you go from there. But you cannot go underneath a fence and you go straight into the community and we don't know you. It cannot happen. Refugee uh, yeah, centers and from there you are processed. Some of you, if you think it did not work, you will take you back to your country. Back to your country because we cannot have a country where there is lawlessness. We cannot account for the people who are in this country. Azapo is being, bringing you a clean bill of health. We shall continue with the liberation of this country. We will stop those people who are urinating on the tree of liberation such that a, the tree that was irrigated or watered by the blood of our tires is decaying today. If you do that, we deal with you. Monster! Yeah. One Azania! One nation! Viva Zapo Viva! Viva! Come 29th of May, let's change this country. Monster! Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God.